All right, so today we're making crispy baked buffalo drumsticks. So I've already preheated my oven to 250 degrees and I put a wire cooling rack on a baking sheet. I put some paper on the bottom and then I sprayed the rack with some pan spray. I patted, I have five drumsticks here. I patted them dry with a paper towel and I put them in a Ziploc bag. And now we're gonna add two tablespoons of baking powder, a teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon of pepper. Now we're going to shake that up, shake and bake. Coat those pieces of chicken really good. I've always wanted to try this recipe because it's supposed to make the crispiest baked chicken that you've ever had. All right, so I'm going to open it up, put them on my rack. And this pan is going to go in the lower part of the oven at 250 for 30 minutes. So let's see what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so it doesn't look like much has happened to this chicken. It's been in the oven for at 250 for 30 minutes. And it kind of looks like it started to cook, but not too much. So I've increased the oven to 425 and I'm going to cook it on the top rack for another 30 minutes until well brown and crisp. So let's see what happens in another 30 minutes. Okay, so the chicken is out of the oven. It's looking hot, delicious, and very crispy. So now I'm going to make the sauce. In this cup, I melted about two tablespoons of butter in the microwave. And then I have a quarter of a cup of Frank's Red Hot Sauce. All right. Give that a little stir. Oh, my mouth is watering. It looks so good. All right. Then I'm going to take the chicken and I'm going to coat it in the sauce. Oh, that's some crispy chicken for sure. I can hear it crackling. Okay. Shouldn't take too long. I only have five pieces. different kind of dish. I don't know. Maybe something flatter than this rounded bottom bowl. I think next time I'll use something different. But I'm almost done. One more piece. I don't want to miss an inch. I love this hot sauce. All right, there we go. So that's going to go in the oven for about another 15 minutes and it'll be done. Okay, so there they are. And they look really good. So I'm going to let those sit and I'm going to let them cool. I'll wrap them up, put them in the refrigerator, and this will be for my lunch for this next week or so. So I don't think I mentioned earlier 
The, the name of this is Crispy Baked Buffalo Drumsticks. And I got the recipe from All Day I Dream About Food. So if you want the recipe, go there. And they look tasty and delicious. So that's it for Vlogmas Day 10. As you can tell, I've been dressed in the same clothes for the last three videos. This is Friday. And I had to tape three videos in one day because I'm working the long weekend and I'm not going to have time to tape and upload videos. So I'm getting everything ready so I don't miss a day of Vlogmas. So that's it for real this time for today. So until tomorrow, keep calm and keto on. Thank you.